Hello my daily connoisseurs. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the fourth biggest enemy to homemakers. Can you guess what it is? Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. My name is Jennifer. I'm a wife, mother of four, a writer, and yes, a homemaker. I like to explore the world of homemakers here on my YouTube channel because our jobs as homemakers are complex, satisfying, and important. But they are also deeply fraught with enemies. Right now, I'm going to share the fourth biggest enemy to homemaking, comparison. Yes, that's right, comparison, the act or instance of comparing. We have all heard the expression, comparison is the thief of joy. Well, a truer statement could not be uttered. And in today's modern social media age, comparison is easier now more than ever. If you call yourself a homemaker, then I'm guessing you have a place to live, a house, an apartment, a townhome, a place where you dwell. Let's pause right there. If that is the case, if we have a roof over our heads, food on our tables, and a bed to sleep in at night, we should rejoice with gratefulness. But instead, what do we do? We hop on Instagram and instantly feel pangs of jealousy that so-and-so's home looks so amazing. Look at that sofa, look at that rug, those house plants. That person has better dishes than you. That person just wallpapered. That person has a swimming pool. And that one just redid her master bathroom. Comparison. We start to look at what other people have, and it all looks so perfect. When we look at our own things, they can start to look shabby, outdated, awful. Yes, our joy is being stolen every time we look at what someone else has and wish that we had it ourselves. We must not compare our homes to others. Some people have larger budgets than we do. Either that or they are going deeply into debt to live in such a beautiful space. You never know the true story behind the glossy Instagram picture. We must be content with what we have and budget responsibly for upgrades in the future. I understand this struggle just as much as you do. I compare my home all the time. How do you think I'm able to write this? <laughs> We were blessed to be able to renovate our kitchen this past year. And guess what I'm longing to do now? The bathrooms, all of them. I want to do all of our bathrooms. So one thing I've learned about decorating and upgrades is you are never satisfied. There's always something more you're going to want to do. So let's cease all comparisons and just be joyful and grateful for what we currently have. Let us make our homemaking a tribute and an act of gratitude for our homes. And when we finally get to do the upgrade, we will appreciate it so much more. I hope you enjoyed today's video on homemaking. I'd like to close with a little bit of inspiration. Take some time for yourself every day. Take some time to do beautiful things, to read beautiful things, to play music, to spend time with people that you love. This will help you as you avoid comparison. Be grateful for what you have. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.